What's going on guys? Welcome back to Modded Skyrim. Uh, today we got to bring that beacon right down over here. Um, just a little detour, not detour, detour from uh, what we were doing before. Because that's kind of how these quests unfold in Skyrim. Like you start on one and then you pick up another and you're just like, oh, well I'm going to sidetrack and Look do this. Look at my temple lying in ruins. So much for the constancy of mortals, their crafts and their hearts. Oh boy. If they love me not, how can my love reach them? I don't know. It's a good question. I'm gonna put this gym right here. Oh my god! I'm floating up into the sky. Holy crap, don't drop me. Please don't it's drop me. Time for my splendor to return to oh. Skyrim. Oh. But the token of my truth lies buried in the ruins of my once great temple. Now tainted by a profane darkness skittering within. Well, that's no good. The necromancer Malkara defiles my shrine with vile corruptions. Trapping lost souls left in the wake of this war to do his bidding. Worse than he uses the power stored within my own token to fuel his foul deeds. I have brought you here, mortal, to be my champion. You will enter my temple, retrieve my artifact, and destroy <coughs> the defiler. Uh, no offense to you, but I'd rather be looking around the map right now. Alright, uh, tell me more about this artifact. Mortals call it Dawnbreaker. For it was forged in a holy light that breaks upon my foes, burning away corruption and false life. You will enter my shrine, destroy Malkarin, and retrieve this mighty blade. Doesn't really sound like I have a choice in the matter. But a single candle can banish the darkness of the entire void. If not you, then someone else. My <coughs> beacon is sure to attract a worthy soul. But if you are wise, you will heed my bidding. All right, so, fan. The artifact must be reclaimed. And Malkarin destroyed. <clears throat> Malkarin has forced the door shut. But this is my temple, and it responds to my decree. This is badass. I will send down a ray of light. Guide this light through my temple, and its doors will open. Sounds like a plan. Oh, <clears throat> oh God, don't drop me. Oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> well, all right then. Looks like we're going right down over here. In we go! I'm going to unmark this other quest so we don't get confused. Well, this is a cool temple. I'm digging this mist. It's different from anywhere else I've been so far. We must help the old gods succeed in that task. Watch for traps. Actually, I'm going to get out my bow. Not nothing in these. Oh god, I hear things. I hear things I don't want to hear. I hear Satan! This could be bad. Let me save. Oh, okay, I guess it just opened that door. <laughs> Hello? Traps? Anywhere? Just making sure. 
You never know. What is this? I guess we can snag it Indiana Jones style. Ah, this is that crystal. Ah, okay, it's activated. Guess it opened this door for us. So in we go! I don't like the look of this. I don't either. I don't know if I should shoot them or try talking to them. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Well, we'll get the jump on them. They look evil. Yeah! Yeah, they're corrupted, so... I'm assuming they're not friendly. And they have red eyes. And that's usually a dead giveaway. Good enough for me. Up we go. <clears throat> well, we're looking for a key. So let's find it. Maybe up there? See if we can do a little platforming to get there. Get up there. Oh god! I suck. There we go. Well, shit. I can't even get in there. Can I, like, move the board or chop it, perhaps? doesn't help. Well, let's try in that room. <laughs> so we haven't been down this way. Ah, needs a key too. Hmm. Where fall art thou key? Let's mess with the pedestal. That could be helpful. Ah, that's why. I'm retarded. my trusty bow. Ah, so we can't actually get through here. It's a puzzle! Ah, and it opened this door, too. Lovely. <laughs> I love just being able to snipe these guys, and they're just like, what was that? They still have no idea. Not bad. All in a day's work. Grab some of this stuff. Grab another save. And in we go. Hello? Well, this room doesn't look good. Don't wake up, Dad. Just stay down. It's where you belong. Hello? <coughs> oh! Take some of your gold. Nice. Anyone else? I'd like to try.
Guess not. Sweet. Let's see what's over here first. Might be some fat loot to be had by all. Nope. 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 Close. Damn it. I hate picking locks. But at least it's not oblivion. It's like right there. There we go. Awesome. Ah, nothing really useful in there. Lame. Grab and save. And in we go. Interesting. We've lit in the beacons. The beacons are lit! Gondor calls for aid! Nope. Nope. Ah. It's like right in here somewhere. Damn you! That's an expert lock. I'm not gonna bother with it right now. I'm not that good at lock picking. I'm gonna bolster my lock pick skills. Hello. Got some baddies. Ho ho. They have no idea. Who's there? No, don't get in the way. I'm trying to snipe him. There we go. Clear everybody here on the ground floor. Anyone else? There's somebody up there. I'll take the stuff off your desecrated corpse. Alright, so we gotta get that door open. Let's get up top. Potions. I'll take those. All these doors require keys. Hey there, little buddy. So far, so dead. It was a trap. Should have known. It's always the traps that get me. It's not the enemies. Traps are more deadly than anything. Oh-ho! They stopped. Hello. Not gonna jump. Guess I should jump over here. Didn't open that door. Let's see, it went up there. Now we gotta figure out how to get up there. Ah, another block level. I love those handy books. Not 
Not even worried about the loot. Hey, man. Let's go down. I didn't stand a chance against my stealth archery combo. Anyone else? No? Good. What's over there before I proceed? Oh, jeez! I knew it. I freaking knew it. Why are there bars over the fire? That's weird. Making that extra child proof. Press the button. Oh shit! Apparently that hurts. Just gonna jump my way down. Awesome. And in we go! To the catacombs! Press the button. Let's see. Got some more loot over here. Snag that. I don't like the look of this. I don't like the look of any dungeon. Woman. Oh god. Well, let's get the jump on him. Okay, so he's probably the head honcho. Oh shit, I missed. Really? Oh, I got him! Yes! Did he turn into a ghost? He did. Now he's dead. Come on, man. Do you even lift? It is the Defiler is defeated. Take Dawnbreaker from its pedestal. That wasn't too bad. Dawnbreaker. This weapon sounds fancy. Ooh. Got an achievement, too. Skyrim's dead shall remain at rest. This is as it should be. This is because of you. A new day is dawning, and you shall be its herald. Take the mighty Dawnbreaker, and with it purge corruption from the dark corners of the world. Wield it in my name, that my influence may grow. Not bad. I'll keep the sword, but find someone else to spread your religion. It matters not. The plant cares <coughs> nothing for the rays that bring it the warmth of the sun. As you carry Dawnbreaker, so will my light touch the world. All right, then. Got a handy-dandy blade. All right, well, uh, Dawnbreaker's not too bad. I'll have to uh, rank it up a bit to Legendary, and it might be something worth keeping. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to stick to my normal setup, and I'll do that off-camera, my upgrades and sailing and such, like I always do. So let's see, let's get back to our main quest here. The Cure for Madness. We have to report back to Astrid. 
at the Dark Brotherhood. Get off my horse. Ah, there's our friend. The guy that we rescued, sorta. Arnbjorn is safe, and for that you have my thanks. But what of the fool? Is Cicero dead? Yes, Cicero is dead. Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Indeed. Tell you what, why don't you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? He's a fine steed, and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? Right. So what is your next task? Or my next task? There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. <coughs> Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? Read his cookbook? It's become quite a phenomenon. The Gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. Hell yeah. Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the Gourmet. You should report to him. Awesome. We have to go slay Emerald. Watch yourself out there. Oh, I didn't read this book, did I? Guess I did. Is it not gonna tell me where he is? Oh, I have to mark it. Oh wait, he's still in the base. Festus! You have to tell me how to slay Emerald Lagasse. How do I do it? Oh, you again. There you are. Took your sweet time dealing with Cicero, eh? Come now. now let's get no down to business. Save. Astrid told you about the gourmet, I hope. Well, I that I need to kill him and take on his identity. Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. So you don't even know who the gourmet is? Wonderful. Don't be so petulant. In my uh, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the gourmet's cookbook. Uh, but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep at Markov. It would seem. He's the cook. And this Anton Varan knows the gourmet's true identity? I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan. Who the gourmet really is and where he can be found. Oh, and when you're done with Varan, kill him. Loose ends and all that. Next, you'll have to... Are you still paying attention? Of course, Festus. Please continue. Huh. As I was saying, you'll need to kill the gourmet, of course. But what's more, you'll need to get his writ of passage so you can take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. It's perfect! <laughs> What else can you tell me about the gourmet? Uh, nobody knows his true identity. Well, nobody except Gaius Morrow. You've already taken care of him. Well, I do know the gourmet was classically trained in traditional Breton cuisine in High Rock. So, that's where he must have met Anton Varan. In any event, our anonymous chef shares a passion for food with all of Tamriel. And that anonymity will prove the Emperor's undoing. It's brilliant. Tell me about this cookbook. Uncommon taste. It was published a few years ago. 
It became a sensation throughout the Empire almost overnight. The recipes were hailed as both practical and decadent. I made a few of the gourmet's dishes myself, actually. His roast mutton with regard berry sauce is to die for. <laughs> but his chocolate pate gives me the runs. <laughs> so the gourmet is in Skyrim. Yes. Gaius Morrow, on orders from his father, arranged for the gourmet to come to Skyrim months ago to serve as the Emperor's personal chef. But the Emperor cancelled his journey at the last minute. Morrow was smart. Kept the gourmet around in case things changed. And so, the gourmet has remained in seclusion somewhere in Skyrim on indefinite hold. Probably feels like a prisoner. <laughs> but you'll fix that. Oh, I shall. Alright, well now we gotta go find the gourmet. So off we go. Grab a save. And we'll go kick some ass. see where this is. Ah. Oh. Alright. We've actually been to the keep before. <clears throat> so we'll just fast travel right on over there. I'm just gonna go in here real quick. Don't mind me, guards. Are you? <coughs> Might be a useful book as well. Don't mind the dogs, they get anxious. Ah, it's the book, an uncommon taste. Haven't had dinner. <coughs> yes, yes, for the hundredth time, I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. I am not a rich man. I know who you are, Anton, and where you're from. Who are you? What do you want? The Gourmet. Who is he? Where is he? The... the Gourmet? Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the Gourmet's identity to my grave. For the Dark Brotherhood, that can be easily arranged. The Dark Brotherhood? <laughs> now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. Yes! I'm sorry my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Look, his name is Balagor Gronolob. He's an orc. The Gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. Now, now you'll let me go, right? Of course. Thank you. Okay, all right. Wonderful. You're welcome. I'll just be on my way then. <laughs> now we gotta wait till he's in a secluded place. Because I don't want to get spotted for this one. Make sure no one's watching. Ah, shoot. They still saw me. <clears throat> gotta get out of here. We must escape. Quickly. I'll pay off the bounty later. Alright, well, let's get out here to this location. Ah, can't fast travel nearby it. So, I'm going to cut the video here and I'll see you guys there.